Good afternoon. Uh, Roy Blizzard's here, and you're on the road with Roy. Uh, this morning, uh, I uh, saw some people arguing about uh, church. Got me to thinking that you know most people don't have a clue as to the right words for church, what church is supposed to be, what you're supposed to do. They think they can sit home and accomplish just as much as they can if they go to church. And uh, it's actually a pretty complicated study. But the word in Greek, ekklesia, is really a translation of the Hebrew word kahal. And uh, the real meaning is found in kahal, not in the word ekklesia, which just kind of means to come together. I mean, what does that mean? You can come together for a pizza or a bowl of soup or whatever, but uh, the word kahal means uh, something very interesting. When you look in the, the Jewish writings, it said that there were four classes of people who could come into the kahal and worship at the temple, and that were the priests, the Kohens, and the Levites, and the Israelites, and then, lo and behold, the proselytes. So, when you look at what uh, Saul writes, that uh, we are grafted in to the olive tree. We're essentially proselytes. And so what does that mean? It means that we come into the place of worship of God. Doesn't say we sit at home and sing a song or two. It says we get off our rear ends and we go to the place where uh, God was dwelling, and we come together as a family, and we worship God, and we get our needs met. And that's the real key. A lot of people don't understand what church is for, and church is not just a place to get, but it's a place to give what God has given you. The blessings that you have received you are to cast back to somebody else. And you do that by witnessing to other people of what God has done for you. And every Sunday morning at the little church I pastor, uh, first thing we do is I say, okay, who, who's had God work a miracle in their life this week? Who has a praise report? Who has something to talk about how God is alive working in our lives today. And when you come into the presence of God in the kahal, you're coming in in a spirit of humbleness before your God. You're coming in in a spirit of worship and praise and thanksgiving. And if you have a need, the priests and the Levites were to be there to help meet those needs. So the people at the church are supposed to be helping you meet those needs. Now, if you go to some rinky-dink church and nothing's happening like that, well, you may need to go find another church. Because just because a church has a couple of doors on it and it says church doesn't mean that the Spirit of God wants anything to do with that church. There's a lot of nutty churches out there, believe you me. But that's what church is for. And if your pastor isn't uh, praying and that church is not seeing miracles, no matter if it's big or small, then you need to, to kind of question what's going on there. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what church is, and, you know, church is supposed to be made up 
of people who are a family, who are seeking the face of God to give Him praise and worship, and in turn have their needs met. And if you got more questions, you can always, uh, you know, write me a, a question about it. Be sure to hit your subscribe button and uh, pray that have a blessed weekend coming up.